Can I start at the brisket? Can I get the leg out of the roof for yourself? Just go into the skin. If you, if you go through the skin with the knife, it'll get dull really quickly. And then take your leg and kick, kick it back. So expose the rest. See that fluid? That's edema. So either there's two reasons for that to happen. Either the heart's can't work, which is most likely. Yeah, all that food. So that's either the blood can't get back into the heart, which is most likely, or he's got really low protein. It's because protein is what keeps the blood inside the blood vessels, what they call oncotic pressure. Probably what we're going to have is either it's histophilus and he's got little abscesses in the heart, or he's got an infection around the heart, so it's got fibrin around the heart, or something could have stabbed through the diaphragm, poked into the heart, and um, and has caused the issues. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll come up and see. Like hardware. Exactly. Yep. So, when, so doing the back part, so we've already cut the front part, so um, I use my leg to get that out of the way and then put my knife under the skin and just skim it under the skin. You have the guts, it's a cart. It's yeah, a cart. it's a cart. Up into the flank and then you pick up your back leg and put it over your shoulder. Cut down. Okay. Cheek it down to the, uh, down to the, the coxofemoral joint. So that's the that makes oh, that leg, leg back. The hip. Hips, that's the hip joint. And then after that, you just want to lay everything back. Some folks cut right through the hide, but again, you'll dull the hell out of your knife. So if you do it this way, it also gives you something to look at. So if they die of bloat, often when an animal dies, it bloats up afterwards. And if you want to know if it died of bloat, whether it bloated afterwards, Look under the skin. Hang on that turn. Okay. If you look under the skin, if, if they die to bloat, it'll be really hemorrhagic from here forward and really pale from there back. Okay. Here's all that edema. So that's all that blood oh. that can't get back into the heart because the heart's not functioning. Yeah. Or again, keep pulling on that leg there, Trev. Mm -hmm. Underneath the shoulder blade. So if this is die to bloat, it'd be really hemorrhagic from here forward. It'd be like this, but really bloody. And what it is is they blow up. It presses on the vena cava. The big vein back there and the blood can't get back so it's all pale from here back. Okay. Is the color of the fat here normal? Like That's all the fluid. Oh, uh, okay. The yellow is The yellow. Yeah. It'll look kind of like that like when they've got water belly as well but it'll be down in here. Mm. Oh, okay. Same sort of look when they've got a, a stone. Usually when they get stone, the stone stuff about right here. I'll see what touch that is. You can't really get them out, can you? Uh, what we can do is make a cut here, pull the penis out the back, and turn him into a heifer. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so then, then you come in here behind the ribs. Again, get the cuts in the carton. Cut through what they call that's the peritoneum. Then take your knife around like this behind it. Go over here. And that way you're not cutting into the gut. You cut the gut. It's a cut. It's a cut. So get everything laid out. This is their yeah, stop gap cool. for the animal. It's called the omentum. And it gets in the way of what you want to see. So you can trim him out of the way. He's thickened. So thickened isn't good? Uh, nah, so he's got like some peritonitis and stuff. Some fluid build up. And that can just be from the blood. See how thick that is? Thick wall? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So there's some shit going on. It's not bad, but that makes you start to think maybe we're going to get a hard work out of this. Ooh. There's a rumen. Two hard years in a row. Here's your gut. If been a broke pastoral animal, this will be another bone. Could be. Bone or wire or... Well, if it was wire, I was hoping it was the heart. The See, this heart is uh, his liver. It's a bit that thick. Looks... Yeah, probably what's happening is he's starting to lose weight. He's mobilizing his fat because he wasn't a nice, good conditioned animal. And the fat's going to the liver and starting to repackage it in the liver because he can't do it anyway because he's not eating. Mm -hmm. So he's getting this kind of fatty liver. If you put this into water and it floats, then he's got a really bad, fatty, fatty liver. This is his gallbladder. It's big because he's not eating. They're not eating, they just kind of eat them. This is his um, this omason. Is this, 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 is, this is his abomason. Oh, look at all that. This is abomason here. That fluid shouldn't be there, should it? No, it's abnormal. Sure, but that just could be because the heart's not working. Okay. Okay, so if you want to see if it's hardware, what, ha what happens with hardware is the, the rumen's this big fella, and at the front of him, get this out of the way. Yeah, good job. That's where we're taking them here. And that wouldn't be free like that. And what it would be is it would be stuck to the to the diaphragm. So, so you just come in like this and have a sweep and see if it's adhered to it and it feels good. So it's not going to be hard work. Would have been cool if it was, but, but anyway, what we're going to find probably is abscesses in the heart. So. 
So I don't go jumping around in the guts because the guts are full of shit and you get shit on everything. So the next thing you want to do is throw it in the peristalsis. Oh, That's the guts moving shit along. It's like when you know when you're sitting when you're hungry and your stomach goes gurgle 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 gurgle. That's what you're hearing is is gas and liquid being going through your guts. How long will that last before rigor mortis sets in? Uh, like I think it, a lot of this stuff goes on for quite some time. Yeah, I've seen it when you do a sheep, you know, it'll go on for an hour. Oh. And the guts is out of the head. So we'll That's come we'll freaky. come back here, but we don't want to make a mess of shit in by diving into this because we'll get mm -hmm. shit on everything. So then we want to get in the chest. So the best way to do that is to find a spot between the ribs. Don't go too deep with your... Oh, oh fuck yes. Yeah. That ain't good. <laughs> oh, you poor buddy. Then turn your knife sideways when you're at the bottom to make sure no one's there. So watch out. Hold your knife with two hands so you don't cut yourself. What, what they call the costa chondral junction. So where the costa bridge, yeah. chondral, oh, cartilage, oh, costa chondral junction. Holy! Oh, that's disgusting. How is he still alive? They're amazing animals. How? Why is he not? Wow! Oh my gosh! So why did he die? Um, because... Lead toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yes! Yeah. So that's called fibrin. So that's the body trying to. When you do a cesarean and that, all this. Holy shit! Fucking, where's your lungs, prick? Mm -hmm. uh, does he have any lungs? Oh. They're in there somewhere because he's breathing. He that's why he had his head out. He's just trying to really trying, trying to get to oxygen get in. Normally with those big briskets, they're not quite that extended head like he was, which made me think he was going to be more of a hardware. Holy yeah, look shit! At him. Look at all that. <laughs> the slime. So his heart's going to be in here. Let's go look at that heart. So what we want to do when we pop in here is we want some diagnostic information. So we want to know did the heart start it or did the lung start it. So when we cut in here, we want to be really careful when we go in so that we don't hide any of our information. So, it not, looks a bit too hard. It's, I think it's thickened from the from the fibrin that's been going on in there. Mm. Okay, so there's the pericardium, and it's fine. So it didn't it didn't start in the heart, mm -hmm. which was one of our rule outs was histophilus. So this is just a really really bad fucking gone fucking Defcon one freaking bronchial pneumonia. <laughs> okay. So would so, so not getting it early enough. Uh, well, he he, he might have come in already fucked, you know? Like, yeah. looking how bad this is. Well, he did come... Oh, where is he? Cooler Wanya. No, he's a Cooler Wanya steer. Is he really? Yes. Oh, so he's been in for a while. Okay, he's out of pen 12. So let's, yeah. do, let's do a plug and see if we can get all this, this, yeah, right. more of this out of it so we can see what we got going. Oh. You got a bit of that? Tasty stuff. Tastes like cream. Oh, oh man. Oh, Don't do that. that. <laughs> Got any scones got, or anything? Got, got any scones in jail? That's part of his lung there. That was just his lung. Cut out. You can pull the esophagus as well. That's his point. See the how they haven't got that shit on the bottom half? Yeah. So that part of the lung's fine. His left lung was normal. Yeah, and his right lung's virtually disappeared. Wow. Do you think he was born like that and it slowly got him? Or to he might have aspirated something in there that stars an abscess, or he might have been up in the station and gotten something that speared into his chest, and he had an abscess inside his chest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can the lung just disintegrate like that? Uh, I think it's just a big abscess that's pushed out. That's the that's the normal bit of the lung there on that side. I think it's just been occluded. Over, you know, it's just been obliterated by over time by pressure and space. There's the other. That's, that lung's normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that lung's cool. Okay. Right. How long would all of this degradation have taken to? It's be been it's been going on for quite a while. Like months or? I would think it's been at least. At least a couple weeks, if not more. It's hard to say. He's probably, probably kind of got. A, oh shit! He's probably got it kind of walled off. Oh, what's that yellow? Stuff? That's fibrin from inside the abdomen. The yellow. Yeah, so it's just uh, fibrin from because his heart's not working. The mm -hmm. fluid's building up in his abdomen, and then it's um. Oh, what was it? Oh, that's more. Yeah, I cut, cut into another packet of stuff. 
Must be abscesses. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Oh, 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 Willie will make you ride. So, these are the lungs, or That's, the set of lungs. It's one, yeah, it's one side of it, and the other side's completely. These are the lungs. Oh, look at that. 